Good day, my old friend. <laughs> Corona hälsning. <laughs> Pang. How is everything? It's good, it's good, thank you. It's been long, you? Very good, it's very been a long time. It sure has. <laughs> Over a year, I think. Yeah. How's the knife business going for you? It's good, it's good. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I have enough to do. <laughs> Last time I remember that you, you hadn't really gotten started in the international market, right? No, that's right. And now almost all your knives are sent overseas. A lot is sent overseas, yes. I have some Swedish customers, but mostly it's overseas. I think it's so cool. And another thing that is really cool is that last time I was here in this forge, we just hit 100,000 subscribers yeah. here on the channel. I remember that I moment. I remember it well. Yeah. It was like, just when we got done shooting, I was like updating YouTube studio and then it was like, Oh, 100k! <laughs> that was awesome. It was, it sure was. <laughs> Still a great video, we're gonna make it better today. Just want to say a huge thank you to Artlist.io for sponsoring this video. It is by far one of the best services that I have as a freelancer because whenever you want to like work for a client and find the right type of music for your video, then Artlist is the way to go. And I've been using their music in the Poker B-roll, the Nestle commercial, this video, and a bunch of others. Whenever I want to have a good original piece of music, that is where I go to. And one of the best things about Artlist is that you can filter down with the different moods, with the different genres, with the different types of instruments that you wanna use, depending on what kind of song that you're looking for. You can sort by staff picks or newest that are recently uploaded. And they also update the library every single week with new music and new sound effects. If you wanna have two months for free on Artlist.io, you can sign up using the link down below and uh, I'm gonna be so kind and provide that for you. So uh, go down there, click it and uh, sign up. It is very cold here today. How many, how many degrees is it? Four degrees Celsius. Four? Four degrees Celsius. Holy crap, I, I don't know what that is. That's like 32 degrees Fahrenheit or something. <laughs> very cold. We're gonna shoot a new version of the Cinematic Blacksmith today. And this time around, we're gonna do something different. We're not gonna try to get like the B-roll style kind of videos. We're gonna to try to focus more on a cinematic type of video to show off both the surrounding and honor the like blacksmith work that Tobias does here in the forge. So lenses that we're gonna use for this particular sequence is going to be 24 millimeter because we can open it up really wide, 1.4, very dim light in here, so we really need that really wide aperture. And to get those like really crispy detailed shots of like this hot steel, the fire, the surroundings and things like that, we're gonna use the 19 millimeter f2.8 macro lens so that we can get really, really close. And then of course, we're gonna use the Nanlite Pavel Tubes 30C. We're gonna have two of them so that we can control the glow from the fire and make it look like it's glowing from places that the fire isn't actually like lighting up the surfaces. One of the things that I like with the Nanlite Pavel Tubes is that not only can you use it as RGB lights to fake a fire, but you can also set it to like daylight, you can use it as background light, and you can use it in your shots to like enhance the entire frame. Even though they are quite expensive, I've been using them for so many things, so I definitely think that the 30C is worth every single dollar that it costs. Highly recommend it. And to make sure that we get some shots that are really, really steady, we're gonna use the DJI Ronin S2 so that we can move a little bit smoother, we can get those really nice cinematic shots without having those like small handshakes. Even though some shots are going to be handheld with the active steady shot so that I can do some focus pulling with my thumb. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start out with a couple of like wide opening shots and then we're gonna move into the close up shots. We 
going to try to do most of the shots with manual focus and this is something that I usually do to be able to control like the setting and the scene as much as I possibly can. But when we have someone in the frame, we can use the autofocus because then it locks into the eyes. I'm trying to move around the lights so that we try to fake the fire so we can feel it in almost every frame that we're trying to get. Otherwise, it's gonna be very hard to get any kind of contrast into the shots and it's gonna feel very flat. Oh, move around until you find the good light. jumping a whole lot between the 90 millimeter and the 24 millimeter because they, they make such a good combo when you want to get those detailed shots, those wide shots and those close-ups but still have a lot of blurred up background. Hmm. And usually what I think when I get to a place like this is that I try to look at the details of the surrounding, like what kind of tools are hanging on the walls, what, what do we have in the ceilings, do we have any like interesting shots through objects and those kind of things so that we can get the most cinematic and interesting looking shots and make you as the viewer be really immersed into the location that we're shooting in and not just like go in here, just shoot the different kind of movements because we want to incorporate everything that is this forge. I'm Tobias is uh, gonna forge a couple of things uh, like he usually does so that we can get a couple of different shots of him doing his thing because, you know, that, that's what we want to show off. And he's gonna take us through the different steps and show the process and I'm gonna try to capture it the best I can. So, not gonna be a, a lot of talk in between those shots, but I'm gonna show you how it's done now. a old vase here with water. We have the Ronin S bag as the background and then we're gonna dip the knife into this and get the shot of the knife going down. You gotta be innovative sometimes because we didn't have a fish tank, we didn't have a black background, but we still wanted to get this shot. thing that we have left now is that we're gonna to try to get the sounds from different machines so that we can hopefully cre can create a beat from those things and I, I think it's gonna be cool but either way thanks so much for watching really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up huge thank you to to be us for having, you guys. having us <laughs> pleasure as always don't forget to subscribe here's the final results